Hi, my name is Justin, aka Ghost Reader, and today I am coming to you with a review, and that is a review of the book Veritas, a Harvard professor, a con man, and the Gospel of Jesus' Wife. This is written by Ariel Sabar, and it's published by Doubleday Books. You can find it in bookstores now. And I'd like to thank NetGalley and Doubleday Books for providing me with art for this. So uh, I picked this book up because last year I read a book uh, called uh, When God Had a Wife, and not too long after I finished reading that book, I saw this book on uh, NetGalley and decided that, um, well, they're almost similar, similar subjects, so why not go ahead and look at this one? Uh, and uh, I was not prepared <laughs> for uh, the story that I found uh, in this book. So I thought that it was just gonna be the run the mill a uh, professor been, has been duped by a uh, forgery that would have been a very big deal uh, in uh, their in their field. And what I got to was a lot more than that. Um, and when you when you read this book, you get the feeling that like, you know, as the reporter is going down, because um, uh, the, the, the author of this book is an investigative reporter as well. As he's going down this rabbit hole, you get the feeling that he's like, oh, what's this? You know, he's also surprised by, by what's happened. But essentially, um, uh, back in the early 2010s, uh, uh, a art professor, Karen King, is approached uh, with the opportunity to look and obtain a, this uh, fragment of what could possibly be this document that claims that Jesus uh, had a wife. Um, and uh, at first, she's not that interested, and suddenly she is. Uh, she announces it to the world without basically due diligence. Uh, and um, of course, then there's this uh, back and forth about whether or not it's real. Um, what if, like, if it is, what implications of that? If it isn't, then where did this fake come from? Um, and so the book details that story, um, but it also provides uh, profiles the the professors who got duped, um, and also the con men uh, who came up with uh, the forgery, and the con man himself. I mean the the. The background about the con man itself was just like whoa, like the way that the author puts it forward is like a is a very riveting read. You almost feel like you're reading like a like a thriller at times. Um, but you know, this story, um, this whole situation, kind of comes down to uh, you know, as a professional in the profession, when you are a uh, like a historian, for for example, you have a um, you have a responsibility to. Uh, give the truth and not your version of the truth, but uh, or what you want to be true because you think that it may achieve a particular goal um, for whatever agenda that you're behind, but because the truth is the truth. And you, you see here that perhaps if this particular professor had not um, have been a bit more ob objective and had actually did due diligence and not what it seems to have tried to lean into that, like this truth could benefit this truth or you know even if the document isn't real the truth that it um expounds is more important um then perhaps uh, this whole situation wouldn't happen in, in the first place um and some really shady stuff that seems to have gone on um and and you know with with, the, with this document and and not enough investigation was being done so it, it basically puts um uh, the the professor who's uh been quote unquote duped because after a while it doesn't look like she, you know she wasn't uh and that it was more of like a purposely turning blind eyes to warning signs as they were coming up um it you know it paints her kind of in, in a bad light but um it was it was a very interesting story the author does a very good job at bringing you through it and making it very interesting because this like i said this could have been another run in the mill oh this person got you know uh, forge there, there's a forgery this person got duped here's the con man and here's what happened but it's a lot more than that and the story itself is is like on its own is great but the way that the author kind of weaves it you don't know what's coming next and so it's a very riveting and, and thrilling read um but you know um i like like i said like it has some some very good points are made as you know a professional whatever field that you're in uh, you are supposed to, uh, you know, be truthful and not try to uh, make that truth serve whatever agenda you may have. 
So um, I really like this book. Uh, if you are interested in archaeology and um, true crime, because this is like, a, you know, does there a crime was committed. If you're interested in history, um, I think that you will really love this book. Um, I, I liked it. Like I said, it was a huge surprise for me. Uh, I give this book a five out of five stars. It definitely makes you interested uh, uh, in the subject matter, grabs you and, and, and holds you. Uh, it's just, it, for me, it was it was a page. It was quite the page turn. If you think you're, you would be interested in this book, let me know down in the comment section uh, below. And that's going to be it. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at GhostReads28, on Instagram at Justin the Ghost Reader, and on Goodreads. The link to that is down in the description box below. So as always, keep reading and Black Lives Matter.